A local area network, or a LAN, is a computer network that connects different devices so they can exchange information. Regardless of its size, a LAN needs certain devices and other components so it can operate. First, you need hosts. Hosts are devices that can send or receive data, for example, computers and servers. Usually, you can find two or more hosts on a LAN. We differentiate these hosts with their unique IP addresses. Be careful, because the term host can be used in a variety of contexts. For example, network hosts and web hosts. Web hosts are the providers that store websites on their servers. Each user device needs a network interface card, known as NIC. This card transforms data into electronic signals which travel across the network. Each device with a NIC has its own MAC address. So why do devices on the network need addresses? Devices need them so they can talk to each other and recognize each other. A MAC address is a unique number, just like your telephone number or your social security number. Next, you need proper network equipment, devices that duplicate, repeat, or split the signal from our hosts. In wire networks, those are called switches, routers, and hubs. If we use the postal analogy, these network devices are the post office buildings. Buildings that receive packets, read the addresses, and send them away to their end locations. Hubs and switches are commonly used to connect segments of a LAN, while routers typically connect different LANs together. In practice, we have devices that share those responsibilities. These devices are very practical, let's say, for home networks. But in large enterprises, it is better to divide the work. You also need a proper medium for packets to travel from one device to another. Wired networks need cable. The most common cable you can use is called UTP or unshielded twisted pair. The name already tells you that the cable consists of unshielded wires twisted around each other. It is used extensively in LANs because of its simplicity and low cost. But for larger distances, fiber optic cables are a better option. Cables physically end with adapters. Those adapters are then connected to network equipment. The most common connectors used in LANs are called RJ45. Visually, they look similar to an old-fashioned telephone plug. Every network device needs software to transform packets of data into segments and puts that data into a structure called a packet. The destination computer receives the packet and interprets it into a meaningful information. Last but not least, protocols. Protocols are sets of rules that govern how data is transmitted over a LAN. The most common protocols used in a local network are IP, TCP, UDP, ARP, and DHCP.